I've been covering the automotive industry for more than a decade. And in that time, I've seen plenty of vehicles that impressed me. Sometimes I even get excited about a vehicle as well. But no vehicle has ever got me as excited as the one I'm about to tell you about. Ford's latest pickup truck. It's got bucket loads of torque, it's fuel efficient, and it just showed off its prowess by towing 1.25 million pounds. What's more, I think it's got the potential to impact the world in a way that no other vehicle has to this point, at least if it comes to market at the right price. I don't think I've ever used the term grabby paws before and meant it as much as I do now. I think I'm in love. But before I get carried away, let's go back to the top and give you a little context into why this truck is so freaking important. And then I'll tell you just what I hope this means for Ford and the auto industry in general. Ford is the undisputed king of pickup trucks. Not only is the Ford F-150 North America's favorite pickup truck, and it has been for more than 37 years, and the F-Series from which the F-150 comes has been America's best-selling truck for 42 years. And it's not just the US either. In 2018, Ford sold more than 1.075 million F-150 and F-Series trucks globally. From workhorses to playthings for urbanites who want to go out into the wilderness at weekends, you're never that far away from a Ford pickup truck. Except while they're loved around the world, Ford's pickup range, like most pickup trucks, aren't exactly all that environmentally friendly. Even if they're not all used as work trucks, that's what they're primarily designed for, so load carrying and towing ability usually trump emissions and fuel economy. They're also a massive moneymaker for Ford. Like any automaker, Ford knows it can make a lot of money on its pickup trucks. It can churn them out in such high volumes that it can make economies of scale work super well, making a huge margin on every truck it sells. That profit can then be plowed back into the rest of its vehicle lineup, lowering sticker prices on other vehicles and helping to pay for research and development into new vehicles and new drivetrains. New vehicles like this brand new pickup, which in case you haven't guessed, is 100% electric. In a video befitting of some of the best reveals out there, Ford assembled a representative collection of Ford F-150 pickup truck owners. It took them to a rail yard and it showed them a Ford F-150 pickup attached to a set of freight rail cars that weighed close to one million pounds. It then revealed to those hardened pickup fans the truck's dirty, or should that be clean, secret. It was an all-electric F-150 prototype. Before you ask, no, I'm sorry, I don't have any specs. What followed was a demonstration of the truck's capabilities as it proceeded to not only tow the rail cars empty along a short course, but then tow the same rail cars a second time, but that time filled with 42 regular Ford F-150s representing the 42 years that the Ford F-Series has been in production. In both cases, the prototype electric pickup proved its worth, showcasing the immense torque available from an all-electric drivetrain. It impressed those assembled and seemed to genuinely change attitudes to what an electric pickup could be like. After all, to this point, save for the limited production Ford Ranger EV, Chevy S10 EV and Selectra pickup trucks of the late 1990s, we've really not seen a whole lot from the pickup truck work with an electric drivetrain. Sure, the Atlas XT is on its way, the ultra-rugged Bollinger B2 pickup and the Rivian R1T focuses on the luxury adventure of vehicle market. But from a mainstream automaker? Nah. From a mainstream automaker whose electric vehicle offerings in recent years have been a little... meh? Well, that makes this even more impressive. Why is it so important? Well, first there's the aforementioned place that Ford has in the pickup world. Ford's F-Series pickup trucks are sometimes used as play vehicles for sure, but for the most part, they are workhorses. They're built for people who want a vehicle that does exactly what's asked of it, is relatively easy to fix, and has a high return on investment, with some exceptions. They are the people who are less concerned with what's going on under the hood and more concerned about what the truck helps them do, be it tow farm supplies across a hilly field, carry lumber to the work site, or help them with their gardening business. 
An electric pickup truck, like the one showcased in this video, even though it's a prototype, shows that Ford is giving serious thought to the commercialization of an electric pickup truck. Next year, it's confirmed that it will be launching a hybrid F-150. Soon after, it says we'll see this electric pickup on the marketplace too. If you're an electric car fan, you probably know by now that some of the things that are expected of a work pickup truck are things that an electric vehicle can meet with absolute ease. Lots of power and torque? Check. That's easy with an electric drivetrain and no need for complex and costly transmissions either. Low running costs? Check. Electricity is far cheaper than gasoline as a fuel and let's not forget that it takes about four kilowatt hours of electricity to actually refine one gallon of gasoline. And although one gallon of gasoline contains the equivalent of about 33.7 kilowatt hours of energy, electric vehicles can convert as much as 62% of the electrical energy from the grid that they take to power at the wheels, while an internal combustion engine vehicle can at best convert about 21% of the energy stored in its gasoline fuel tank to power at the wheels. Maintenance? There are very few meaning parts existing in an electric vehicle, so there's a lot less to wear out than the several thousand moving parts that are in a conventional internal combustion engine truck. And as the video has shown, there seems to be zero problem when it comes to towing, or I presume load carrying. Although Ford does caution that this one million pound towing experiment isn't going to be the thing that you're going to do in the real world with this truck. Don't do it. Duh. At this point, I feel I need to answer a question that I'm sure that some of you will have. Namely, that towing something heavy isn't actually about the weight of the thing being towed, but rather the frictional forces that need to be overcome in order to get said heavy thing moving. We've seen plenty of people towing heavy things with cars over the years. Having the prototype F-150 electric tow a set of rail cars is much easier for the truck than it might appear because rail cars, by their very design, have a pretty low rolling resistance. And while a standard gasoline F-150 would not have been able to have gotten those cars rolling, the talk of that electric drivetrain was its special source in this case, producing enough force to overcome the aforementioned frictional forces. Despite all of this, well, it's still an incredible display of this pickup and its prototype pulling power. I think at this point, and given this video, we can safely say that Ford is finally serious about making an electric pickup. Combine that with its investment in Rivian from earlier this year, and it's clear that Ford isn't dicking around anymore when it comes to its future electric models. Rivian, by the way, just started stamping pre-production validation body panels, suggesting its less work-oriented, higher-end, fun R1T is on the way and on target as promised. Of course, this is just a prototype F-150 right now, and naysayers will say it's just smoke and mirrors and hype, and there is at least some possibility that they might be right. But given how finished this truck appears and how capable not to mention the money that Ford has recently spent on EV development, I'd suggest it's far more than just smoke and mirrors. We just don't know how long it's going to take for this vehicle to make it to market. And that is something of a bother. Which brings me to the final thought on this, price. Electric vehicles are traditionally more expensive than internal combustion engine ones. And in order to be a workhorse that it is promising it will be, Ford will need to give an electric F-150 a beefy battery pack of at least 100 or maybe even 150 kilowatt hours, maybe more. And rapid charging will need to be a must. We're talking 250 kilowatts CCS or go home. While most pickup trucks being used for work don't actually travel a whole lot during the day, those that do will need to refuel quickly on the road because time is money. And that's going to result in a hefty sticker price. That could cause Ford some problems initially, although economies of scale could help long term. Ford could eventually leverage its massive pickup truck production volume to make its electric pickup truck more affordable. However, in order to do that, it needs to jump through many hoops, the least of which is securing a large battery supply for said pickup. Ultimately, I think Ford's electric pickup will happen. I don't know when, although I'd suggest we're going to see it in a year or two's time. 
It won't be as affordable at first, at least I can't see how it would be as a regular pickup. But if Ford plays its cards right, it could bring the first truly work-oriented mainstream pickup to market with an electric drivetrain. And where Ford goes in the pickup world, other automakers will follow because that's what happens when you're the market leader. And that means more electric pickups from everyone. As for Tesla's and Rivian's pickups, both of these vehicles will happen, of that I have no doubt. But I remain doubtful that Tesla's pickup offering will be appealing enough to mainstream truck drivers to wean them off gasoline, unless Tesla has something truly revolutionary planned that's super ready for work. And Rivian? Well, it's clearly stated that its R1T isn't designed primarily as a work truck. Atlas and Bollinger are closer to what we've seen Ford demonstrate, but then again, they don't have the same market punch that Ford has. So there you have it. This, out of nowhere, could be the pickup to change the world, assuming it makes it to production. And that, sadly, is something we don't know yet. That's it. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you liked it or didn't like it below. Scribble a comment, hit the notification bell. And if you'd like to see us make more of these videos, please do consider sending a dollar or two our way every month through Patreon, buy us a coffee using Ko-fi or buy some merch from our merch store. I'll be back soon with another episode. But until then, keep evolving.